Hey everybody, Quint Lears, newhomesales.com. I'm here with Cody Sherbet with Amerabuild Homes. That's correct. Hey man, thanks so much for joining us. Of course, not a problem. We are in Orlando, Florida at the Best Home Building Practices Summit. How's the conference been for you so far? Oh, it's great. It's my first year learning a ton uh, from you guys, from Bob. It's just, it's really just valuable. It's another tool in the tool belt that we can use. It's been next level, guys. It's been really cool to see some of the speakers, you know, the, just the technical side from the marketing side to the sales side. Tell me a couple. By the way, you're the director of sales and marketing for Amerabuild Homes. Tell me some of the tools that you're going to take back and implement uh, with your team. I mean, it's really just about, you know, not only fine-tuning those tools that you use, but also things that you can take back to your team, the team building, the leadership, um, some of the practices and some of the just things that they discuss here, you know, makes you think outside the box and sort of look at what you're doing, how you can improve, and how you can, you know, improve the people around you and your team. You know, Cody, you're an inspiration to me because you started just frontline new home sales, worked your way up. Now you're the director of sales and marketing, you know, for, for a home builder. How did you do that? What did you do different to contrast yourself and to, you know, to achieve at that level? Oh, uh, well, I actually, I, you know, took Bob Schultz's book and kind of put it into use, started doing it. And um, managers, you know, they noticed a difference between me and the others. So, I mean, that's how I was able to sort of climb the ranks and, you know, climb the ladder. Yeah, man. What, what's your why? So, I mean, this is a tough business. We, we talk about the highs, the lows, the yeses and the nos. How do you overcome uh, come obstacles? What can you share with our audience, you know, with, with, with the, the people that have had cancellations, that have been through the struggles? How do you overcome it and what would you share with our audience? Uh, well, I mean, every no is just, you know, every time you hear a no, it's just one more step yes. So um, just kind of take that approach with it. But also, you know, just I didn't really even have a real estate license until um, uh, my girlfriend conceived our son. And so it was like she was pregnant and I had to do something. And that was only, you know, coming up on four years ago. So it's like, you know, you can get into this industry and you can do well if you're a driven individual that, you know, has the end goal in mind. And, you know, you don't stop until you get there. Man, I love that. What um, what's next for you? What do you, what do you, what's your goals, man? Your rising star in the building industry. What's next? Uh, just building the team. Uh, take it, you know, what we're learning here back to the Grand Strand in South Carolina, and sort of just building the team and building the company with the tools that we learn here. So one of the challenges I talk with, you know, management, what, what, how do I hire the right people? So I'm gonna throw that at you. How do you look for for talent? What do you do? What are the questions you ask? Any tips for that? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of what they were discussing on our first day here is the Ph.D., um, you know, hungry being the main thing and that you're able to, you know, coach and, you know, uh, just willing to learn and willing to improve and work on your craft is the main thing that, you know, we're looking for in individuals. And then the Ph.D., what was that? Uh, the Ph.D., it was... Uh, Poor, right? Hungry and disciplined, <laughs> something? I don't remember. Yeah, yeah it was a hungry and disciplined are the main things. Uh, yeah, so... Just taking that away from the conference is sort of just, you know, it's, it's valuable. It's, you know, worth the flight and the tickets to get here and everything. It's like, you know, the stuff that we're learning here can turn around your company. You know, and it, it can make you into something that, you know, the best version of yourself, basically. Tell me one more, what, 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 you know, back to what's your why? I mean, what could you out of bed? Uh, kind of just show me the storm. This is kind of what uh, how Bob describes it, but it's like you know I want to be challenged. I want to you know be the best I can be. Uh, it's not necessarily the competition. Your biggest competition is yourself. So it's just being the best version of yourself. Waking up in the morning with that sort of determination and to try to outdo yesterday. I love it, man. Any last uh, shout outs? Any uh, you know anybody on your team will give anything? I mean, our president, the uh, founder of the company, Sean Becker, he's been amazing to work for. Um, he's one of the uh, few certified master builders in South Carolina. Uh, just the whole Amerabuilt team has just been, you know, it's great. It's great. The experience that the customer has, you know, we turn them into family. So, you know, it's really just a, prof a prophecy from the, the head from the head of the company down. It's kind of the trickle-down effect, you know. So working for the president that's sort of got his act together and he leads by example. So, you know, that sort of feeds the rest of the team. Cody, thanks for being an example to uh, to us here at the home building industry, and we're here at the Best Home Building Practices Summit. It's an honor to have you on the program. Congratulations on your success. We appreciate it. Thank you.